Welcome to The Extreme Underground, the show where I take a look at some of the most disturbing and controversial films in the world of cinema. Today we'll be talking about Be My Cat, a film for Anne. Now I know what you're thinking, that this isn't extreme, and that's very true. But it does touch on something that I'm interested in because it does blur the lines between reality and fiction. And that's why I wanted to cover this one. I had no intention of even reviewing it when I first sat down to watch it, but I thought it was worth talking about. Out the gate, I will tell you that I did enjoy it. It's not a movie that I'll probably watch again, but just the way the acting was done, it was just an interesting watch, and I think that it's worth checking out for yourself. But you're likely here for the breakdown, so we're gonna do the synopsis first, we're gonna do a full breakdown, and then I'll give you my final thoughts at the end. So this movie's about Adrian, a Romanian filmmaker who's obsessed with Anne Hathaway. He wants to make a movie movie featuring her, so he's making his own movie first to send to her to prove that he's good enough to work with her. And he goes to some extremes to really prove that point. All the people around the world, they will be stunned by what they will see. This is a found footage film that opens up with a card that says that this film was edited down from 25 hours of footage that was found at a crime scene in Romania in 2014. And looking into it, it seems that that's exactly how much footage was actually shot for this movie. This is where we start to see what's going on on here like things are blurred some of the trivia on IMDB obviously makes this feel a little bit more real than it may be but at the same time you're not hundred percent what's real and what isn't throughout the course of the film it's written and directed and stars Adrian Taffe who at first seems to be just a fun energetic person he seems really nice he's showing us around his house doing a little vlog we're introduced to his mom and he talks about how he loves cats he just absolutely loves them and he thought Anne Hathaway did such a good job playing Catwoman in The Dark Knight Rises that he needed to have Anne Hathaway in his film. So the video that he's shooting is to strictly convince her to film with him. He's lined up some actresses to star in this little concept, but he's lied to them. They don't know, they don't know, they, I, 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 I lied to them. So they just think this is the final movie that they're gonna be in, which in reality is. You see what I'm saying? So Adrian's rented a house down the street. We meet his very first actress, Sonia. Again, all of the actresses, they use their real name in the film as well. But Adrian wants to immediately get to work. So he's talking about how he's gonna be a voyeur and he's just going to have Sonia walk by him and he just keeps over explaining it. As this character that I am playing, he has a, a video camera, okay? And he films, he, he films her, uh, the actress, okay? After that, there's a scenario where he says, hey, I'm a stalker guy. I'm going to try to invade your personal space. You need to keep me one meter away from you, but you can't run. Stop, stop. I got closer than one meter. Okay. She's like, well, that's impossible because if you can run, then how am I supposed to escape? And he says, figure it out. And so they try over and over again. And Sonia just gets so frustrated. He starts yelling at her. You like being comfortable right now. You're not listening to me. It's extremely well acted. The way that he just constantly talks, like it's obvious this movie is not scripted because it's almost too natural. And it's pretty chilling, to be honest. The next shot he wants to get is her rejecting him. So he keeps following her and she kind of gets like, actually creeped out, like the actress actually got creeped out it seemed, or so it appeared, like he was just like kept bugging her and you couldn't tell because this is what's so strange. Because his name is Adrian, he is starring in the film, he is filming himself, but he's also the director of be My Cat, it would be hard for the actress to understand what's really in the movie while he's trying to direct or what's really like the non-crazy guy just directing this movie that we're watching today. So that's why this is so odd. But anyway, it seems like she actually gets freaked out and she calls the cops. I called the police and your goddamn movie will not ever be made, okay? The real Romanian police come. So you really called the police? and Adrian had no idea in real life that this was even happening. He thought she was screwing with him, but she called the cops and they came. I guess they cut like them talking about it, but the footage of the cops is what's shown in this movie. The next scene is where it really gets creepy because now Sonia is set up to be abducted by Adrian. He says he's going to use water on this rag and it smells like chloroform, oldest trick in the book, and he actually chloroforms her. She's so asleep right now. And he likes to constantly talk to the camera and reinforce that like it's not me undressing the girl it's the character that i'm playing 
he's just so out there. He's also talking to the camera, like talking to Anne, trying to prove himself to her and say that he deserves her. The passed out actress is in his bed. He's now put on a cat suit, so she's more like a cat woman. He ties her up and he's got a knife and he threatens her and says he's gonna sacrifice her, but not Adrian the director, but Adrian the character, so don't worry. Even though it's one and the same to her, so she's just like, this guy's messed. And he ends up choking her out and killing her with a pair of jeans, and then he brings her dead body and stuffs it in the basement in some like storage area. Oh my god. She is so dead. Adrian's now just going for a walk. I think he's going to pick up actress number two and he goes into a little bit more depth on his like cat obsession. He says that he killed his own cat accidentally and now he's trying to bring his cat back as a beautiful cat woman. And here's our introduction to Flory, who is actress two. What's interesting about this is you can hear him immediately say like, In English, please. From what I gather, they would only speak English if it was like in the Be My Cat movie, whether it's Adrian as a director or the character Adrian. Otherwise they would be talking Romanian. And he's like the first time he probably met her ever, he like straight out the gate just says like, talk English because she was immediately in the movie as their first interactions were natural. Very interesting move. He gets really frustrated with her and I don't know if it was real or not, but he says that like, she's a little too thick and she doesn't look like Anne Hathaway and she needs to lose weight and stuff like that. And he's mad that he spent money on her travel to get her from like one side of the country to the other. He's like, I paid for your food. And Flory is just like, well, then just, just like have sex with me. And please, please, um, I didn't expect something like this from this actress. Like, I don't think she really knew that she was going to be in a movie, I guess. I don't know. And then we meet actress three, which is Alexandra. She's extremely nervous. Same kind of situation, like talking English right out the gate. Uh, in English, please. <laughs> okay. Hi. Okay. <laughs> Already high. Everything seems kind of normal when all three are together. It's not as awkward as the first actress because he's not being overly aggressive. But they go back to the house and he's like, I need to make like an operation room. And so he tries to get the girls to help him out. He ends up giving them the camera for a minute as he goes and gets some supplies. And they start exploring and playing around with the camera before he tells Flory to undress. Undress and on the bed. <laughs> and sends Alexandra like out of the room and just says like, I'll let you know when we're done. And then we get Adrian talking to the camera again, talking to Anne saying like, look, I convinced this actress that I'm using fake blood and syrup and red paint and that everything's gonna be fake. But in actuality, she's going to be the ultimate sacrifice. She will suffer physically for this performance. He sets up the camera on the other side of the sheet so we actually don't see this part, but he like cuts open her stomach and she's freaking out. She's screaming her head off. It's excellent acting. Like I thought this was legit, kind of. Like the blood obviously sprays in a weird way, but it was convincing to some degree. Some like neighbors come by to see what all the commotion's about. And he's like, look, it's fake blood. And then they just laugh and they're on their way. Alex and Adrian now just go for a walk. She starts like singing and there's a really creepy quote right here. <laughs> People are dying. Okay. It cuts to night and he dresses Flory in the cat suit and talks about how he's just like trimmed her fat and that was the purpose of him like cutting her stomach because she was too fat so he wanted to trim her down so she looked more like Anne Hathaway. While he's done this he realizes I've become the cat that be my cat. Flory's obviously dead at this point. Alex finds her and grabs the camera. There's a long confrontation with Alex where she seems extremely frustrated, but like for real. I couldn't tell if this was acting as well. Like it seemed like she just wanted to be over and done with this shoot, but Adrian wasn't allowing it. She tries to like run for it and he says like, get in the corner. He talks about how he's a phobia of leaving his town. He knows he has to go to Hollywood to meet Anne Hathaway. And so he's realizing like, he's not sure how it's gonna happen. He also talks about how he has to kill his mother too, uh, but after talking with Alex, she's like, If you love someone, you have to be, like in your movie, you go and meet her and, and the connection will be different. And he's like, okay, hide in this like closet thing and I'm gonna go get my stuff so I can go see Anne. He asks Alex for one word and Alexandra says love. Adrian gets really excited and the camera cuts and that's the end of the movie. One word. Love. 
So as for my final thoughts, I think the acting was incredible. The fact that there wasn't really a script, just like an idea going into this that would have been hard to execute with Adrian encompassing all of these different roles that are kind of the same, using the same names. It's really confusing. And all the actresses seem like they were also like frustrated and nervous and awkward about the whole situation. Whether they were in on it or not, I couldn't really tell. And that's why I enjoyed this movie. And that's why I think a lot of people will. And that's why it's on this channel because it's so strange. There's no extreme elements. There's no graphic torture or anything like that. But it's just seeing this man have such a crazy idea. You've seen these kind of people in Reddit posts, on Twitter, in the news after doing some like stalking, some terrible shit. Adrian did such a good job being this like incel stalker kind of guy that thinks that he deserves Anne Hathaway and her attention. Personally, I will take care of you personally and, and I will make an Indigo campaign to raise money to send the movie to thousands of film festivals around the world. It's completely messed up and a movie that I'll never forget because it was so awkward, especially with the first actress. When you first start to see Adrian being bothered and slipping out of that nice guy mentality that you saw when he was just doing his little house tour. He's always got a big smile on his face because he thinks that he is right in all situations. Uh, it's just so creepy. Obviously this didn't have like a high production value because it's literally the footage from the camera that is in the movie. Nothing additional seemed to be added to it, just trimmed from it. So it kind of has a very authentic feel. And the fact that we don't get closure is scary to some degree. I can't imagine Anne Hathaway would watch this and feel safe. Cause this would be terrifying if you were in her situation, especially knowing that it ends with him potentially getting his bags and going to see Anne Hathaway. Like, what the fuck? Anyway, I don't think it was the best movie, but it was definitely intriguing and worth checking out at least one time. So I'm gonna give this three and a half awkward dances out of five. As always, thank you for watching. Like this video and comment below with your thoughts on the film if you've seen it. If you haven't and you do want to check it out, links are in the description. And if you have a recommendation for a movie that's not quite extreme, but might be kind of in this territory, definitely let me know. I think Murder, Death, Koreatown is another very similar one, which kind of distorts reality a bit. I'm very interested in that kind of stuff. Let me know. And if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, stay up to date with everything here on the Extreme Underground.